Hey everyone, this is Ben with Registered Nurse or I'll comment in this video, I'm going to talk about the salary of a surgeon. Now, I've been doing a whole series on different types of salaries, both within nursing and within the healthcare profession. And we actually had a viewer request this one, so I moved it at the top of the list. So you know who you are, this video is for you. So I'm going to talk about a brief overview of what a surgeon does. I'm going to talk about the education requirements and then we'll look at some of the salary statistics. First of all, what does a surgeon do? Well, they do surgery, right? And there's a lot of different types of surgeries. You might have surgeries to correct uh, an accident. You have like an automobile accident, surgery to um, remove diseased parts of the body, such as in the case of a cancerous tumor or something like that. And then of course, surgery that corrects deformations, like if you have cleft palate or something like that. So a lot of different types of surgeries. There's also a lot of different specialties within surgery. For example, you might have a general surgeon that performs kind of a mix of different surgeries. And then you might have a certain specialty like a pediatric neurosurgeon. That's a specialty of Dr. Ben Carson, one of the guys running for president in the upcoming election. There's been a movie about him called Gifted Hands. I like that movie. But anyway, do you know the difference between minor surgery and major surgery? Minor surgery is when they cut on you. Major surgery is when they cut on me. So that's the difference. Now, I'm going to talk about the uh, education requirements. Uh, what does it take to become a surgeon? Well, it's going to take four years at the undergraduate level to get a bachelor's degree, and then you're going to go four years in medical school to get that medical degree. And then after that, it's going to take about three to eight years of residency. And that depends on which state you live in, the state in which you live, and also it depends on the actual specialty you choose. So those are some factors that depend on how long you have to stay in residency. Now, how much money does a surgeon make? Well, I got all these figures from the Bureau of Labor Statistics, and these are accurate as of 2014, which is the latest data they have available. The average wage for a surgeon was $115.60. The average salary, $240,440. Not bad. Now, what about the industries with the highest level employment? Because one of the things that, like I say in every video, that can affect your salary is the location in which you live, the industry in which you work, and so forth. The industries with the highest level of employment was first of all offices of physicians. They came in at $247,900. General medical and surgical hospitals came in at number two at $220,810. And then number three was colleges, universities, and professional schools at $134,970. Now, what were the top paying industries for surgeons? Well, the two top paying industries was the state government and the medical and diagnostic laboratory settings. Now, they did not have exact data available for these. All they indicated was that it was no less than $187,199, but it's probably quite a bit more than that. Unfortunately, they didn't have that. Now, the next two top paying industries was offices of physicians at $247,900 and then outpatient care centers at $242,000. 800. So those top two, probably a little bit more than that, but they didn't specify an exact figure. Now, which states paid the most money? Well, out of all the data listed, the top state was Mississippi at $260,660 was the average. Rhode Island was number two at $259,950. And then Georgia came in number three at $255,280. Now, the lowest states, <coughs> again, the lowest state was not given the lowest state just had a general footnote there from the Bureau of Labor Statistics saying that it was at least $187,199. That was the minimum. So that's the minimum pretty much for the states, and those are the top paying states right there. I hope this video helps you. Surgery is definitely a profession that we all need to have. So thank you so much for watching. If you haven't yet subscribed to our channel, please make sure to do that and have a great day.